Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing a much larger than I expected makeup haul. <laughs> so don't be fooled, relax. All of this stuff I have gotten over time over the past few weeks. I've had them in a box in a corner of my room to haul and it just never happened. And I was going to just cut off the haul and not do it but you know what i just like talking about makeup and even though some of this stuff is from a few weeks ago i just want to talk about it and i want you to know that i have them in my collection so i have some pr in here i also have things from riley rose from ulta from kylie cosmetics from sigma and from mac if you want to see what i picked up then just keep watching So we are going to start off with Riley Rose. If you don't know what Riley Rose is, it is a Forever 21 cosmetics store, but they sell a bunch of different fun brands, it's even like indie brands. So I'm just going to show you a few of the things that I purchased. So they have a great skincare section, and I thought this smelled really good. This is the Green Tangerine Moist Cream. This is from the brand Godal. Sorry, I have some swatches on my arm. And the texture of this really reminded me of the La Mer Moisturizing Cream, so that's why I picked it up. I'm all about moisturizers. Moisturizers are so important, and I haven't used this yet because this has been in the box, but it has a really nice light soapy citrusy scent to it and look how cute this packaging is so i did pick this up from riley rose okay next item that i got is one of my favorite pair of eyelashes these are the lily lashes in makeup by samuel these go from short to long so they are tapered eyelashes and they're really fluffy so these i cannot find anywhere besides riley rose so when i went to the store i did pick this up and i love these lashes lashes so much so that is why I picked these up. These are definitely one of my favorite pairs of Lily lashes. I also picked up an eyeshadow palette from Beauty Bakery. This one doesn't get a lot of hype but I thought it was gorgeous. This is the Do It For The Gram eyeshadow palette. The pans are huge in here which I think is why I was so attracted to it and you just have some really good everyday colors in here. I've only used this once so I do want to use it a couple more times before I find finalize that decision but based on the time that I used it I was not impressed with this eyeshadow palette which is really unfortunate because I was hoping I found a gem but I don't think I did unfortunately but we will see I will continue to play with this and update you guys on this palette so this next palette I was so pumped about this is from the brand pinky rose I see this brand like all over Instagram and this is the hypnotized palette and it is my very first full pressed glitter palette so pinky rose has a bunch of gorgeous press glitter palettes at Riley Rose and I got the more neutral <laughs> glitter one and I have not yet tried this but if I love it they have a really pretty colorful one that I'm interested in picking up so these I would say you should still put a glitter glue down and you can use your fingers and just press it on top of your lid so I'm so excited to see how this goes so far they feel pretty good just from swatching they don't feel too oily or jelly but we will see as I try try them out so hopefully these get a good report back because I'm really really excited about this. It's taken me forever to pull this out just because it's been in a box in a corner of my room <laughs> but yeah I really really want to use this so bad. Also from Riley Rose I got the Lottie London Full Coverage Color Gloss and this is in the shade Bare and I don't know these were really cheap that's why I got it and I love good full coverage gloss and this is just like a really pretty neutral color right here uh haven't tried it yet it just was a color that was up my alley it was cheap and i don't know for some reason this product caught my eye so i did pick that up so at that time there was a gift with purchase going on with riley rose so i got a bunch of different stuff i'm not going to go through it but we have some dermalogica face wash a Lime Crime Liquid Lipstick, a Luxie Eyeshadow, just a bunch of different samples and face masks. So I need to go through this and kind of give away what I don't want. But uh, it was such a good deal. Like you get all this stuff for spending not that much money. So one day I also made a trip down to my local Ulta and I picked up 
quite a few things if I do say so myself. So the first thing that I picked up right when I walked in the store was an eyeshadow from Kylie Cosmetics. I have had my eye on this eyeshadow palette for a while and I just never thought wanted to buy it because it was only online so when they had it in store I had a gift card and I was like huh why not so this is the blue honey palette and it looks like this I actually used this yesterday I did only use the mattes I wasn't unimpressed with this but I also wasn't very impressed with it I thought the shadows were okay I haven't really played with the shimmer shades in here and I really just want to play with this row right here but I don't have anything bad to say about these shadows but I also don't have anything amazing to say about them so these are pretty kind of middle of the road if you ask me but I really like the color combo that this palette has which is why I picked it up it's been a very long time since I have picked up a Kylie eyeshadow palette so I will keep you updated on that but yeah, Kylie Cosmetics in general, I would say, is a pretty middle-of-the-road brand. I don't think her stuff is that bad. I really don't. But yeah, it's definitely the packaging and marketing that gets me. I cannot lie. You guys know that lately I've been obsessed with the All May Velvet Foil Cream Shadows. So I got four shades. I got Golden Vibes to have a more neutral color. And also Paradise Found, which is another more neutral color. We also have, for some fun colors, Infinite Sky, which is a teal. And then Violet Eyelet, which is a purple. So I just thought these were some fun colors. I love the formula of these. So I cannot wait to start playing with these and get these in my collection. So I already have one that I'm obsessed with. The formula is amazing. The lasting power is amazing. So I cannot wait to use these they are just like a foiled cream eyeshadow that you have so much product in so these I noticed none of these have glitter in them like the one that I do love but they are very metallic so can't wait to put those on my eyeballs you guys know I love my Maybelline City bronzer I use it non-stop I finally got the lighter one the shade 100 the packaging is kind of broken on it but the powder is still good so this is like a lighter version of the 200 which I have and I thought this kind of reminds me of Hula Light which I do love Hula Light and for an everyday basis not like my Instagram makeup looks I do want a lighter bronzer like this so I thought this would be nice to add to my collection and the quality of this is Bomb. I also picked up the Maybelline Chrome Highlight. This is from the Puma collection and so this is Knockout and this is so beautiful. It is such a unique highlighter, such a unique formula. I've used this actually quite a lot. It's a gold with almost a lilac shift to it. It's a beautiful formula. Maybelline did it with this. It can be a little bit dark on me. Like I'm probably a shade too light to really pull this off 100% of the time but if you have a medium skin tone you will love this and in the summer this is going to get so much use for me but quality is fantastic and this is such a unique color I really love it even if it is a bit dark on me I still love it and I'm using it I also did pick up a couple of concealers that I've been hearing a lot about the first one is the Catrice liquid camouflage high coverage concealer so I got mine in a shade that was really light it's so hard when you can't sample them but this is light natural I thought I got it in porcelain but this is light natural which it is really light but the coverage on this isn't full full so this does add a nice brightening effect it doesn't make me look like I'm wearing concealer that's too light so even though I would prefer a couple shades deeper this isn't that bad like it really just kind of brightens in a nice way so thus far from what I've tried I think I do really like like this concealer there was one time where I tried it where I wasn't too sure and there was another time where I really did like it so I will have to continue testing this out to really get my full opinion on this I also picked up the elf 16 hour camo concealer I got mine in the shade medium peach I just got medium peach because it looked really light to me a few weeks ago this was like the it concealer everybody was talking about it because it is so affordable the hype has kind of died down but they did have it at my Ulta so I just kind of picked it up on a way because it was pretty affordable and I'm a concealer queen lately I keep buying more concealers than I need so we will test this one out to see what I think because I do think the drugstore has pretty decent concealers but I haven't found any that are like as good as my favorite concealers so maybe this one will reach it we don't know I haven't tried it yet all right so this one is really fun I made a fun order off of ColourPop it's been a while since I'd purchased anything from ColourPop and I love ColourPop. I'm planning on playing around with some more of their palettes and eventually doing a palette rankings for ColourPop. 
so I did want to get a few more of their new palettes. At the time that I ordered this, it was like 20% off your entire order, so I did get all of this for 20% off, and I'm so excited because ugh, I just love everything. If you don't know, Kathleen Lights is one of my favorite YouTubers. She's definitely my favorite big YouTuber, so I did buy her Zodiac Loose Pigment Collection. I didn't get this originally when it came out because what am I going to do with 12 loose pigments? They aren't going to get used, but then they were 20% off, and then I started looking up swatch videos online, and some of the colors truly are gorgeous. I haven't worn any of these yet, but I completely, after this video, plan on it because there's so many fun things you can do with these. So since they were 20% off, I did pick these up and I, I am genuinely excited. Some of these are really gorgeous colors. I started watching her tutorials and that also convinced me because they, they just look so beautiful on her eyes. Anything on her eyes makes her look beautiful. So, But anyways, yeah, I'm really excited about this. I cannot wait and I'm happy I got the whole box. I was originally just going to pick up like a couple colors, like the colors she used in her tutorials that I liked. And by the end of it, I was like, screw it. I'm just buying the whole thing. I also picked up the Just My Luck palette because this is such a unique palette. And I heard so many people talking about this. And it's a really fun green palette. It kind of reminds me of that teal, bluey, greeny, minty Huda palette. I can't remember the name of it right now. But I really like this. I haven't used it yet obviously but this is something I really want to do an Instagram tutorial on. I love monochromatic palettes so I'm really excited for that one and of course you guys know I had to pick up the purple one so the purple one is It's My Pleasure. This one really reminds me of the Amethyst palette from Huda and again haven't used it on my eyes so I can't speak on it but I really do think this is so freaking beautiful but there definitely are some color dupes from that Huda palette and I can't wait to play with this. I'm a sucker for monochromatic little mini palette. And then I also got the Sweet Top Press Powder Palette. And I can't lie, you guys. I'm very, very tempted to buy more products from this collection. Because this is like my favorite collection ColourPop has ever come out with. So this is just a springy peachy pink palette. I loved it. I've used it once so far. And I really... This is like one of my favorite things ColourPop has ever come out with and it's my favorite collection. I just think the packaging is so gorgeous and the colors they went with are just perfection. So if you want to order one thing from ColourPop, I'm definitely recommending this palette because it is worth so much more than you are paying. I genuinely feel that way. The packaging, it just makes me feel so springy and happy and it makes it seem so expensive. So the Sweet Talk palette from ColourPop, yes. I also ordered a lipstick from that collection and I'm telling you I want to buy more from this collection. This is Seven Springs and I really do like the ColourPop lipstick formula and this is like a fun orange color so it's a little out of my comfort zone for me but that's why I order those colors from ColourPop because you know what they're not that expensive and I really think this is going to be such a fun spring color and then I got a couple more lipsticks actually. Love their lipsticks. So then I got this is just a regular lipstick this is cream fresh and I just thought it would be a great everyday peachy orangey color again a little out of my comfort zone but also still wearable so I just find this color to be pretty unique and with a brown lip liner this is going to be amazing and then the last lipstick I got was from the Karuchi and Colourpop collection so this one's kind of old but I got the shade butter and I'm really into concealer lipsticks and very very nude lipsticks with a brown lip liner. I just think it's the most beautiful lip look. So look how pretty this shade is. This is such a beautiful nude shade. And these glint on my hand like butter. These swatch so beautifully and smoothly across the skin. So I'm really obsessed with the three lip colors that I got. And I just want to buy more. I just, I'm so obsessed with ColourPop, but I try to contain myself because when I order, yeah, their stuff is cheap. And then I want to buy everything under the sun and then I want to spend too much money. And then I did pick up a lip liner. This is the I Live Sarhi collab and this is in the shade this is in the shade 951. This is from her very first collaboration and I actually already have this but I wanted a second one because I love this lip liner. Their formula is very soft and creamy and this is just a great lip liner. This with this shade from the Karuchi collection are going to be stunning together. So let's take a dive into a PR package that I got from Grande Cosmetics. 
they sent me a few of their different lip products i did kind of dive in a little bit more in my video i tried on a couple colors for you guys but basically i got it looks like three metallic liquid lipsticks i can tell you right now these i don't really like the smell of and they do burn your lips if you don't like a lip plumper i personally don't really mind i just generally don't really like metallic lips this one right here in champagne bubbly is actually going to look really pretty on top of a nude lipstick that's lined with brown or on top of a brown lipstick so I could definitely make this one work but I don't know about these two peach bellini and amaretto pout and then I also got two regular liquid lipsticks so I got butter rum and this one is like a pumpkin orange it is so pretty and so unique I would check out my video to see me wear it because it is the most unique color and I cannot wait to create a look surrounded by that lip color so I'm so pumped for butter rum and then we also have rebel raisin which is a dark liquid lipstick and it's weird because these do plump your lips so they are a little bit burny so it's quite a unique formula I definitely want to play with the wear time of them but just from trying them on very very unique and then I also got two glosses one is in sugar plum and the other is cranberry brush and I haven't tried these yet so I don't know how they work but I love me a good gloss so thank you grande or grand I don't know if it's grand or grande but thank you so much for sending these my way like I said I'm so excited about that butter rum color we are not done yet so the next thing that I got also from PR is from the brand Emil Cordon and if you you guys have never heard of their brand they just make these really fantastic luxurious lip balms they're very very pricey but they are so good they're <laughs> they're my new favorite lip balm I've been using them for the past couple of weeks so I got sent four. I got Rose Imperial which is in my makeup bag right now and then I got two of their tinted ones this is chic chic boom I haven't tried the tinted ones yet I've been so taken by the just regular lip balms and if you go on their website they actually have so many fun cool fancy flavors um, and then the other colored one I got is Madison Queen which is a little deeper these you can also use as cream blushes apparently can't wait to try those out and then I also got Saint Bart Soleil which is a coconutty one so if you like coconut I would go for that one not a huge coconut person but these lip balms are so lovely I've read many blog posts about these they are so they moisturize your lips so nicely they are as good as the Laneige but they are a little bit more oily and lighter with great for every day so every day before I put on my makeup I actually let this settle into my lips and it's just a beautiful beautiful formula they are so pricey so thank goodness they are as good as they are so I also took a trip in to Mac a new Mac counter opened up by my house which is crazy because nothing cool ever opens by my house so to support them I picked up a couple of things so I got two single shadows because I've always been taken by their dazzle shadow formula and I've never tried so I just since I was spending money I decided to buy two so the first one that I got is last dance which is a light glittery pink and then the other one that I got was I like to watch which is one of those really unique kind of green brown duo chromes and this is going to look so gorgeous under a glitter glue so both of these i would recommend using with a glitter glue but i cannot wait to play with these i also got a mac paint pot in the shade painterly i've been using this i've been loving it kind of a classic that i've never tried before so i finally picked this one up i got a lipstick from their new strip down collection i don't know if this was already in their collection but this is in the shade so sexy two s's and it is a beautiful kind of taupey brown shade and I have been loving this. This is the cream amplified formula so it's very moisturizing on the lips and this is the perfect lipstick for any cool tone looks. I've worn it with a blue look. I've worn it with the purple look that I just did yesterday. I love this lipstick. I've been using it non-stop. Um, also I have the soft and gentle mineralized skin finish. This is my current favorite highlighter right now because it is so beaming but not at the same time. This is an old classic from MAC that I never got the chance to try and 
yeah, I, I don't know why its popularness died because it's freaking amazing. And then I believe this is the last thing that I got from MAC. This is the blush in the shade Melba. I bought this for my makeup kit because I thought it was a really gorgeous everyday neutral blush that I thought would look really beautiful for brides. And it is really, really pretty and I love the MAC blush formula. So I did pick that one up. That's another classic from MAC. Moving on, I got a really awesome package from Sigma sent to me. Like, I cannot believe they sent me all this stuff. I don't know if I deserve it or not. But the first thing that I got was the blush cheek palette, which I will talk about in my favorites if that's not already up. But I've just been loving this, so I don't want to go into that too much. I also got this Essential Trio brush set, which comes with three little mini brushes and a case. So I really do like Stigma brushes, so I'm excited to see how this one works for me. I got a number of eyebrow brushes sent to me. P87, E65, E75. Kind of boring. I don't feel like struggling to open those. And then I got a number of things from their pretty new brow collection that just came out. So here we have the Sigma brow pencil, which is really good. I tried this yesterday. And I also, it's kind of put away right now, but I have the clear eyebrow gel on my eyebrows right now. I'm really liking their eyebrow gel. It's doing a very good job of keeping my eyebrows in place. I also got the Sinuosity Lash which from Sigma, which is really good. I have tried that before. And I have a couple other things from the brow collection. The brow powder, uh, another tinted brow gel, a highlight and cleanup crayon, and a brow wax. Really excited to try these out. I also got a brow pomade. That's what's in my brows right now actually so I'm slowly trying to play with this brow collection and so far I'm pretty impressed I'm not gonna lie so let's just get this last part over with finally I made an order off of Kylie Cosmetics it's been a long time since I've ordered from there but there has been some stuff that I was eyeing and I just bit the bullet and ordered a number of stuff so the first thing that I got I've been wanting this forever and this is the loose highlighter in the shade Santorini and I have to say I'm a little disappointed with it because it's just a little bit too icy than I prefer. Like, look how light that is. So it isn't the most flattering color on me right here. So if I use it sparingly, it's not that bad and it creates a really pretty look for a glowy Instagram look. But for the most part, I was hoping it would be a little bit more champagne-y. I don't know, that's kind of my own fault, but yeah, I was eyeing that for a while, so I picked that up. I also wanted to try one of her bronzers, so I picked up the Tequila Tan Bronzer which looks like this and so far I am loving this bronzer. The formula of this is really really beautiful and this is a bronzer color that I just don't have in my collection. So I really do like this and I love the packaging. I also have been super curious about her blushes and I couldn't pick which ones I want so I just got the set of six. So I got one in rosy which I gave to my mom because I didn't want that and then pink power is put away because I use that in a look but I also just so you can show you the other four we have. This is We're Going Shopping, Kitten Baby, which is really light, Pink Power, which is definitely one of my favorites. I love a good cotton candy pink blush, and Batty on the Block, which this one's a little bit more deep of a pink blush, but I'm excited about that. And then the last thing in this entire haul is the Kylie Gloss in the shade Los Angel. I've been wanting to try her high glosses, so I picked this one up. All of the good shades were sold out when I purchased it, but this is a semi-clear gloss with some really pretty glitters, so I do really like this color, and the formula of this is very, very nice, so I wouldn't mind picking up a couple more shades of that formula. Anyways, that is all I have for this haul today. It was really big. <laughs> like I said, this has been stuff I've been collecting over the past few weeks, and I can't wait to get started and really playing with them and testing all of these products. Oh, makeup makes me so happy. So anyways, if you are still watching this, congratulations and thank you for sticking around. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, hopefully you will think about doing so today. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.